Well, good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday morning, I think it is. Uh, <clears throat> we was off yesterday, had other things we needed to do, but today we're back at the fence again today. Today is, uh, we have a little more welding to do down at the other end, just some spot welding that needs to be finished up that we didn't quite get done before we left. And then we will start down there with the metal uh, roofing coming all those way. And it's all pre-cut, so all we have to do is place it, screw it on. But uh, we built the fence out of an uh, inch and a half galvanized pipe uh, and then uh, one, uh, two and by three uh, purlings. Uh, so we used a horse clamp, a horseshoe clamp to, to weld to. I didn't want to cut them because I want to, this is a temporary fence. And when it comes down, I want to be able to reuse these on like a chicken barn or take the fence down to another area and set up on another piece of property. So. We left it where all we have to do is just cut the horseshoes off and, and reuse the purlings elsewhere. So it's, <clears throat> like I say, temporary, but we set it in concrete so mm -hmm. that we could withstand the wind because it'll have pretty good surface with the with everything that we have on it, so, with the metal. How so many panels? Today. What is it? Four? Seven. Seven panels. Seven panels. Uh, 20 feet, right? 148 feet long worth of fence. Oh, so. okay. So we got 44 sheets at a meter uh, to put up today. So that, okay. it'll go pretty quick. Well, we're spray painting where we welded. Anywhere you weld causes oxidization mm -hmm. and burns off the galvanized. So we're just trying to prevent any rust. Here you got to protect for rust for everything. So all we're doing is spray painting the, the places where we welded at just to to uh, cover up the weld spots so that they don't rust. Um, any place we struck an arc at, burnt the galvanized. Just a little preventive maintenance on the poles. And the and I know that you want to do that before. Yeah, before the we put roof. the panels on so yeah. we don't spray paint the panels. Because the panels are chocolate brown and they're silver and look horrible on them. <laughs> Bro, what you're doing, bro? I'm welding. Very well. Nice. Very well. Very well. Very nice. Nice. Whoa. Nice color, huh? First panel up. What's your purpose? You're not putting that one here because in Filipino, they put in the ridge. Because it crushes ridge? ridge. It's this ridge, right? Yep. So they put they put it here instead of here. So you put in here instead of here. Okay. So the purpose is? Manufacturer specification. If you go on the internet and look, when you use the right rubber washer and you don't squeeze it too tight like I did here, this will never leak. If you put it in here, you can't stop and it bows it down and then it leaves a spot for water to set in and then it rusts through. Oh. So manu manu manufacturer specifications, if you go online and look for high ridge uh, metal roofing, they will tell you to put the screws down here. Ah, okay. Yeah. the top end right here yeah so mark down mark down six inches we can see from the bottom because looking up the top I can't get that tall so six inches there we go oh, 16 going on 17 pounds okay we got 17 panels up now uh, we're getting these are all different sizes Kind of getting up here, it'll all be this pretty much the same size for about five sheets in a row. Each one, 
but with all this hill and the roots we had to cut different lengths to keep the top straight but yet fence in the bottom so it's been kind of slow going because you have to measure the sheet we got it written down where it goes to but we have to measure the distance of each one of them so we're gaining until we get to this last sheet and we'll be all right yep Still has a long way to go. Probably uh, before lunch, they're gonna be finished here. And then after lunch, we're gonna finish all of this fence for just one day. Then four of them working. We are so proud because we have a good team. panel they're all designed to overlap the gaps in the in the in the purlings so what we're doing right now is we're going to put it one over so when we add on to the fence we just unscrew this panel slide it over one ridge and then and yeah right there that way it'll have the lap over the seam when we go on but i just didn't want it hanging over too far from the wind add on to the fence Oh yeah! Last panel! It's done! Done for today. On this, on the We're done for what time now? Just only one o'clock, right? Us, Just one o'clock. Took us four and a half hours to put it all up. Oh yeah, because we started like almost 9 a.m. already. This morning and we're done one o'clock. All right, well, we're finished. Four and a half hours we put up the metal. And so it's all finished. We'll eventually add on two more pieces of colored roofing there when we come to the next pose. But we're finished for this uh, section of the fence for right now. So all done, not bad. Two days, one day putting up all the metal for the put it on and purlings and then half a day putting up the, the colored roofing. So turned out really well, turned out nice, really happy with it.
So I'm standing here at other property. And this is our rough road here. And I just want to show you the quick view on this side because I never do video on this area here. Okay, that's the look. Yes, I'm expecting it. 